So hey you guys, this is Lemma Zante and I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be a business related video. I did a business video that was very very similar to the one I'm doing today. I did it about I think like six months ago and it ended up hitting like almost 600,000 views. It was like a packaging video. Um, I got into it and told you guys a little bit more on like my packaging and how I do things here at the Glamour Zante Apparel Studio. Um, we really, I thought today would be a pretty good idea to do the video because this is the day after our Black Friday sale. We did a whole Black Friday sale over the weekend and we had so many freaking orders. Like when I tell you we had so many orders, I couldn't believe it. Honestly, it was like a lot of orders. And also we've been doing new tactics and new marketing schemes that'll kind of, we'll see if they're working. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about them while I'm packaging orders. But um, first things first, we're going to be packaging a lot of the Black Friday orders. The last little bit for you guys, talk to you about some of the business tips I can give you guys and tell you some new things that I've done with my packaging. And also how packaging is actually really, really important to put that cost into your shipping. That way when you're shipping stuff, you're not eating that price. Oh, and also I want to tell you guys as well, since the last time I've done like a business related video, I've also launched a new website. You guys should should definitely go check that out y'all know the older website or anybody that's new hey what's up how you doing the older website is shocklemonzante.com that is like a women's apparel clothing store it's like you know clubby clothes ready to wear clothes so you can go check all that out on shoplimazante.com. That website has been running since February. And then I did launch my new site in October, and that is glamazante.com. And that pretty much is ebooks. Um, we have bonnets, robes, scarves, edgy wraps. We have all kinds of stuff over there. And like I said, ebooks of definitely what will help you with a vendor list and also how to shop at the LA Fashion District and just talking to vendors and all that kind of information. So all that will be within that within there so those are two separate websites but i do like to keep them kind of running similar just because they both are under my brand okay you guys so the first thing i'm going to do is actually go through all the items that i use to ship with things at glimmers on Pearl studio so i'm going to show you all the items what everything costs and at the end of the day how much it would cost me to ship items out per item if that makes sense or per per order if I should say so first thing is this Dymo printer this is the Dymo printer 4XL I like this printer a lot more than a regular printer because it does not require ink only thing you have to do is actually put rolls of labels inside of here it's $200 but of course that's just an overhead fee so you wouldn't actually incorporate this in this is just like a one-time fee of something that you would have to pay and normally after you get your orders going you'll make the money back off of this but it's definitely worth it way more than a regular ink printer so you guys these are the labels that actually come with them we can buy them in sets of four rolls or more um but we per se get four rolls that's 880 labels and pretty much for this is 30 dollars. so you get four of these we've used two and one is actually well no we use one and one is actually inside here so we have two left so we actually need to go ahead and probably order some more but for all four of the rolls it'll be 30 dollars, and that's 880 labels it'll end up being three cents a label and i want to show you guys what the labels look like these are the labels and pretty much this label is what prints out everything that we need information wise to go ahead and ship the package okay so the next thing we're going to actually get into is these baggies i'm not for sure if you guys are even aware of what these really are but these are clear wrap um bags basically they're very very crucial for our business because this a lot of times our clothes can come on hangers so when they come on hangers we need something to take it off the hanger to ship it to you guys to make sure everything is efficiently done so then we'll take our clothing items take it off the hanger and actually put it inside of this bag and then it comes out like this fold it on here and then we'll actually put on a size sticker i'll get into that later but these bags sometimes a lot of the clothes that's here at the store we will individually wrap and fold it just so we can make sure it's secure it doesn't get dirty nothing happens to it on its way in transit to you guys and then we'll have the small ones we have a lot of boxes of these so i just pulled two um i actually get these from uline as well but these are the smaller ones so this is kind of about you can see it's kind of this is the size of it pretty much and then it's folded right here. So we did these for the KN95 mask. So you guys can actually shop those as well. So with the bigger poly mailers, you get about 100 for the size of 10 by 13. And it ends up being about 10 cents per bag. And it comes with its own little clear sticker pull. So if you pull this off, pretty much it'll stick. And that's how you 
can continue your item. So with the smaller ones, it'll actually be a thousand inside of here. And I believe these end up being like 10 cents a piece. Now, like I said, it depends on how many you buy. The more you buy, the cheaper it'll be. So for us, it'll be a lot cheaper than somebody just buying one box. But I'm letting you guys know this is kind of like a basis price. It's not 100% correct. It depends on someone of how much they're actually buying. But these are the smaller ones. Right. So this is the difference in an item that is wrapped by us and an item that is wrapped from the wholesale district. Sometimes when we get items, they will come already packaged like this. Not everybody's items will come, but sometimes they will come like this. And then you'll know they have their own little size sticker, style number, the color of it. And it's a lot bigger. And then sometimes I have writing on the back. When we purchased it, this is exactly how they gave it to us packaged. And this item per se, it could be on a hanger hanging up. So it pretty much didn't come like this. We had to do this R on our own, put it in here, and then we applied a size sticker. And that gets me to talking about the size sticker. So with the little size sticker, basically you can get like 3500 in a pack it's like a pack of stickers and i'll show you guys like a little picture over here you can get 3500 in a pack and then basically it ends up being about a penny for each sticker so it's really not that big of a cost on the sticker price at all so it's about a penny and yeah we just do this so that when we do wrap them we know exactly what size it is so when we grab it off the shelf we already know this is size small size medium size large a lot of items that we get from the district they'll come like this just because you got to think about it we can actually go down there and access the items and pick them up so they'll come on hangers i already explained to you guys what the dots on the hangers mean if i didn't i'll do it again it's one slash then on these slashes right here is two slashes so that means it's a size medium and then when it's given no slash, that means it is a size large. So I wanted to show you guys the two different sizes of poly males we have. We actually have a bunch of different ones, but I just wanted to pull these two so we can give like a for example. So for this one, pretty much with the poly mailers, this is a 14 and a half by 19. This ends up being... <laughs> this is 10 by 13 and it's a pack of 100. So it comes out to be 10 cents a piece. And like I said, it fluctuates when you get pricing. But I'm just letting you guys know of stuff that you can actually purchase and how it will work if you want to get off Amazon and whatnot. But yeah, this is really, really a crucial for our business. And then we also do the custom ones. So this was a custom one. And like with doing a business, you also have to have different size of poly millers because every order is different. So we did do these ones, but they fairly were a little bit more pricier. So it ended up being like almost a, almost a dollar for one but i'm working on finding someone that is actually a cheaper vendor because we want to cut that call so we don't have to put so much into our shipping but the custom ones is actually a vibe and i actually think they're very very cute we just need to find something more cost effective these also are sunglass bags the sunglass are bags are very crucial for smelling out sunglasses because we don't want anything to get scratched and we also want to give like a little personal touch so for my local sunglass vendor i get these they're about three dollars for i think 12 inside of here so this is how they come packaged. I'm going to try to open it. So these are the sunglass pouches that we actually carry and we ship to you guys. We get 12 inside of here for $3 and that ends up being about $0.25 cents a piece. But we just go ahead and put the sunglasses in and it kind of gives like a little personal thing. So also you can get these custom if you guys are interested as well. Then I forgot to insert a clip of these boxes that I actually use for sunglasses and for jewelry. Um, with these boxes, they're normally about $65 for 100 boxes. And depending on how many more boxes you get, the price can actually um, differentiate. But I just want to show you guys, they come as flats and then I just secured a box and kind of put it together. But yeah, I forgot to insert that clip. So I figured I would let you guys know so you can get a better handle on like packaging and what I use. Paper, um, we kind of buy this in bulk and this is like getting down low because honestly it'd be like thousands of sheets inside of here. So with the tissue paper, the printed tissue paper cost is about $32. And then over here for the printed one is about $32, but you only get a little bit. It's not that many as you would get with the plain one. So it's only about, I think, 100 inside of here the way it came packaged. So it's like other little, it's other little, pretty much like little packs of it. So this is how it comes, but it's a lot more expensive. I believe it's $32 and you only get like 100 and the pricing of that is like so 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 you know what i mean so it's it's a lot more but it has more of like a cuter effect i feel but you figure this it's just a part of your branding whatever you want to spend on your branding and how much you want to 
apply to it but the plain fit fitter works out just fine it's actually a lot larger too so it works perfectly into our sunglass box to stop it from shaking around and moving around if that makes sense so this right here as you guys can see, this is an actual new thank you card that we have been putting with our Glamazonte.com merch. And that's more of like a personal endearment to like my subscribers, people that fuck with me, that been rocking with me for a while. So I wanted to do thank you cards more intimate than I did for my store. So right here, it's like this. And then if you actually put this code in, you can get a percentage off on the site. This is really good to bring people back to your business. With me, I've seen so many people over the years use my thank you code. And I actually give you guys real statistics and information on how many people. So it's kind of like an incentive. When you purchase from something, you're more likely to come back and purchase again, especially if you have a discount code and it's more personal to you because not everybody has access to this code. So it's just like a thank you for purchasing from me. So if you guys have sites, you want to do the same thing because it just lets people know you're appreciative of them purchasing um but like i said and it also is really good because when i put this in on my websites i can see how many people actually have used each code and see how many orders have came with them using this I have been buying it out like crazy because i was i'm not gonna lie i was really really sketch at first on if it was gonna do well but y'all made me forget that really quick because honestly girl it been busted so if my store actually have these business cards and this is kind of like our thank you card for Glamour's Ontario Pearl Studio, just because it's like a debit card. You know, you swiping, you paying, all that kind of stuff. And then we have our information on the back of it. If you guys can see, I have my information on the back of it. It's like a thank you card. When you type this code in, you get a percentage off and you can shop that for shop limits on so depending on where you get your business cards is depending on the price of the business card so for example if you go to staples you can get 500 business cards for like 15 dollars but then if you go on vistaprint you can get like 100 for 24 dollars so that'll make your price fluctuate between you know so with me i will say it depends different levels different prices and how much money you're willing to put in it so Okay, you guys, so pretty much this is one of the orders. Now, in this order, you guys will see we had to use the clear wraps. We had to use seven of those, and those was nine cents a piece. And then we also had to use the poly mailer. That was about 10 cents. And then we have a business card, and that's 11 cents as well. So we'll be going ahead and sealing that up. And then in total, pretty much now, we're going to go ahead and print out the label, and that's going to be three cents as well. And so all in all, the total will be 87 cents altogether. So you need to make sure to include that in to your shipping cost so that you don't have to eat that. It's kind of like the customer pays for it within themselves. And here's the package. So with the sunglasses, pretty much you figure the box is 63 cents. Then the sunglasses bags, we put two of those in there and they're 25 cents a piece. So that's 50 cents. The business card is 11 cents and the tissue paper is about two cents. And then also we have the label as well, that's three cents. So all together it's about a dollar and 29 cents to ship this item. So this right here is the in and out set. The in and out set, I wanted to tell you guys, this is the one that I remember I told you sometimes the manufacturer already have them pretty much clear wrap so we don't have to use our own clear wrap. So with this, the only thing we're gonna be using is the poly mailer, a business card and the label printer. So the poly mailer is about 10 cents, the business card is about 11 cents, and then you figure the label will actually be about 3 cents, so all in all, this will be 24 cents altogether just to ship this order as well. The prices that she's giving you guys is literally just to put the items in this bag and to ship it out. That does not cover your actual cost of shipping. Depend Most definitely. But depending on if we use USPS or UPS, we use for international, that does not include their rate so if it's a dollar and some change to ship this or just a few cents to ship this that does not include the actual shipping fee and that's actually really good i think you should pull that up to show them the shipping different okay so down here it gives us different ways that we could ship most of the time we do either priority or first class depending on the weight of the product um so this particular product it's gonna it weighs a pound and three ounces so to technically ship this it costs us ten dollars to ship it plus whatever's in the package so it's probably about a dollar to ship and we only charge nine dollars for shipping because we want to make it as affordable as we can for you guys so we keep it at nine and we eat the dollar granted you should not always do that you want your customers to cover their shipping but 
being nice and just trying to keep it one standard rate for everybody we just keep it at nine dollars and then we'll factor the dollar and 31 cents in somewhere else so you guys this is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i appreciate you staying this long i also want to appreciate you guys for being customers for me purchasing from me supporting me loving me and letting me be me this is such a dream of mine and y'all actually have made it come true so much like i don't even think i can really thank y'all for all y'all have done for me but i hope you guys enjoyed these videos if you have any questions or you want me to do a video similar to this or anything else just comment that below and i will do my best to get some videos up for you guys i got a lot of goodies coming in store so i can't wait till y'all see it i hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe Mwah. see ya